Welcome to the Cyberary's video series on the CompTIA Security Plus 501 Certification and Exam. I'm your instructor, Ron Werner. In this video, I'll be discussing different penetration testing techniques and concepts. This is Section 1.4 in Domain 1, Threats, Attacks, and Vulnerabilities. In Section 1.4, I'll be explaining penetration testing concepts, including the difference between penetration testing, vulnerability assessments, and risk assessments. Also talk about active versus passive reconnaissance, pivoting, initial exploitation, persistence, escalation of privilege, and the use of different systems such as a black box, white box, or gray box to conduct a penetration test. I'll begin by defining what a penetration test is. A pen test is an authorized or simulated attack on a computer system performed to evaluate the security of the system or application by actively exploit exploiting found vulnerabilities. So the concept is you find vulnerabilities and then you exploit them. This may also be known as ethical hacking. On your screen, you see the process associated with penetration testing. Step one, information gathering. Step two, threat modeling. Step three, vulnerability analysis. Four, exploitation. Five, post-exploitation, privilege escalation. And then six, reporting. Reporting what you find, because the ultimate objective of a pen test is to fix the problems and secure the information systems. Before you begin a penetration test, you need to be aware of the requirements. First, you need to scope what you're going to be attacking. Is it a single system, a single application, a network, a subnetwork? Your scope net document needs to list everything that you will be addressing, and then you stay within that scope within your pen test. You also need to have permission to test. I call this your get out of jail free card. So if anyone accuses you of exploiting the computer systems, you can show them that you're validated by some type of authority. You should also have the skills and to attack the resources. Make sure you're not causing inadvertent harm or collateral damage. Also as part of a pen test is your plan of attack and your steps. It's like a project plan, if you will. How will you go about your testing? You should be listing out those steps and to make sure you're not causing inadvertent damage. Lastly, you need to make sure you have resources and access to conduct the test. If you don't have the network access, then you won't even begin to be successful. And then you have the systems and application resources, the tools, to complete your penetration testing. Review these testing requirements and make sure you go through each of them before you actually begin any hacking. Earlier, I mentioned the different steps associated with the pen test. After you've established your scope, you want to then do your information gathering, discovery, and reconnaissance. Gaining information about these systems, network, or applications you will be attacking and trying to exploit. This could be through the internet using open source intelligence like I talked about in the last video, or performing some type of a reconnaissance. There's passive reconnaissance, which is an attempt to gain information about targeted computers and networks without actively engaging with the systems. For example, I can check on Google and see what's in the Google cache on that particular system, network, or website. I could also go to other types of public databases, talk to employees or partners, or even dumpster diving. Then there's active reconnaissance, which is gaining information about the targeted systems by actively engaging with them. So it's when I actively get my hands on those systems to gain information. What is the operating system in use? What is their patch level or application versioning? This directly focuses on the system using port scans, trace route information, network mapping, and vulnerability scanning to identify weaknesses that can be used to launch an attack. When you're conducting your penetration test, you may use one of these three types of boxes, if you will. With a black box scenario, the tester has absolutely no knowledge of the system and is functioning in the same manner as an outside attacker. So I'm going after an entity and I don't know anything about them. White box approach 
is where the tester has significant knowledge of the system. This simulates an attack, say, from an insider, a rogue employee. Gray box is somewhere in between. It's that middle ground. In gray box testing, the tester has some limited knowledge of the targeted system. You'll use black box testing when you want to simulate a complete attack from an outside. White box would be more from an insider type of attack. Also be aware of the different types of testing, whether they are intrusive or non-intrusive. Non-intrusive tests are passively testing for security controls, performing vulnerability scans and probing for weaknesses, but not exploiting them. So vulnerability scan is a form of non-intrusive test. Intrusive tests involve actively trying to exploit vulnerabilities to break into the network or the application. I'm intruding into the network or into that application. Once you've conducted your initial reconnaissance, you'll begin planning your actual pen test activities, determining how to have that initial exploitation, gaining foothold on a system or network. This is often with lesser privileges or access. I'll find some type of vulnerability base level on an application and exploit it, or use phishing against an employee to gain internal access to a network. Once I have access at some level, I will then try to pivot. It's attacking one system using another system, or one account using a different account taking the compromise system and attacking another that's been trusted. This is often done on the same network through island hopping. Persistence is maintaining access for a period of time, basically hiding. I might gain my initial access, but then want to kind of hide in plain sight to make sure I'm not triggering any intrusion detection system. Lastly is that escalation or elevation of privilege gaining elevated privileged access to resources that are normally protected from an application or user. This could also be a form of pivoting. I'll start out with a base level access as a normal user and try to gain root or administrator access in order to conduct even more damage and exploit the system, all in an effort to understand the security atmosphere within that system to offer controls to better protect it. It's important you understand the difference between penetration testing, vulnerability assessments, and risk assessments. See the definition above for penetration test. It's actively exploiting, gaining hands-on internal systems and applications. A vulnerability scan is a little more passive, it allows the tester to identify specific vulnerabilities in network, system, or application. Most pen testers start with this procedure so they can identify likely targets to attack. The last is a risk assessment, which is a lot higher level. This allows an organization to understand the cybersecurity risk to the organizational operations, including mission, functions, images, reputation, the risk to the organizational assets, systems, or individuals. I talk more about risk assessments and risk management in another video. In this video, I discuss section 1.4, explain penetration testing concepts. Let's practice on a few sample quiz questions. Question 1. Of the following types of testing steps, which focuses on directly scanning a system using techniques such as port scans, network mapping, ICMP scans, all to identify potential weaknesses? The answer is B. Active reconnaissance. This is the definition for active reconnaissance. Question 2. In initially conducting a penetration test, you find vulnerabilities on a separate, less secure server on the same network as the one you're investigating. You use access to that server to then attack the target servers. This type of exploit is known as B. Pivoting, where you start on one system and you pivot to others that you really want to attack. This concludes the video for section 1.4, Explain Penetration Testing Concepts. Please refer to your study notes for more information on this topic.